Okay, well, the video I was going to post yesterday, I ran out of memory on my uh, SD card, and I didn't get to post it. <laughs> but I was actually taking this thing apart. I've now gotten the top portion of the boat separated from the bottom portion, as you can see. And boy, I tell you what, that was fun. Uh, makeshift. <laughs> I took the swing set, took the swing off of it, used the straps to strap it to the... Uh, the, uh, what do you call those things? I don't know. I'm not a, a maritime person, but you tie the rope to that thing right there and you tie it to the dock. You know, whatever they call those big things. But anyway, okay, anyway, I got the boat strapped up to the swing set and balanced and up high enough. And I got a little safety there. I got a ladder under it with a 2 by 4 But uh, <laughs> got it up high enough actually to pull the bottom part of the boat out from under it. And you can see my speakers and stereo and all kinds of crap that needs working on in here. And lots of styrofoam. And uh, look, there's the new horn I put in the hard way. And there's the old horn that I haven't taken out because I couldn't get to it. But anyway, on to bigger and better things. So I've got the bottom hull of the boat here. Okay, and you can see this big piece of material that I've got cut. Uh, got the angle pretty close on the bottom. I've got to cut out this piece right here. But I want to make sure I've got the bottom just about perfect before I do any cutting on the top. Because you can see there's a little bit sticking up right there and a little bit sticking up over there. So i got a little room to play. And I want to try to get it as close as possible to fitting the bottom of the boat here, the curvature. Now you can see I've cut out some spots here at the back. I've got some rotten wood. And you can see the spot that looks like it may have been patched before. I've got a feeling they did the same thing here they did to the transom. They sprayed some fiberglass on it and painted it. and They probably patched the plywood rather than replacing the whole sheet. Uh, which this stuff is going to be a hell of a lot better than plywood because it doesn't uh, bow very easily. It doesn't give break you can't this stuff is damn near indestructible i don't know it's some kind of polymer and it is just you can't drill it i mean <laughs> you're going to take a a metal drill bit to drill through this stuff it's so hard and um you can barely cut it with a skill saw with a carbide blade on it so that's how bad it is it's three quarters of an inch thick which is about the thickness of what was in here with the uh, fiberglass matting on it and I am gonna wrap uh, the f probably wrap this thing with uh, fiberglass matting and and put some uh, resin on it just to make sure that it doesn't give too much probably one wrap will do it because this stuff doesn't give at all really it, it just it's stout and it's heavy too so I really don't want to get too much weight back here because this is gonna be a lot of extra weight um, as you can see, I pulled the styrofoam blocks out back here uh, to give a little more room because I'm going to make it, it's actually going to hang over a little further than it did originally, uh, which is going to give it a little more sport toward the back end. It's, it's not going to be all in one spot. It would have been nice if I had a piece that would have went all the way across and, and done like I did on the other boat and came up at an angle. But, hey, I did the best I could with it. So I'm probably going to put some extra fiberglass back here on the back before I put the styrofoam back in to kind of help that. Uh, anyway, I got a little issue right here with the uh, with the styrofoam lining. It has come loose from the hull. I'm probably going to try to use some construction adhesive or something to glue this back down with. Uh, but for the most part, uh, she's in pretty good shape. Uh, gonna have to clean it up. It looks a little dirty. But uh, hey, it's a boat. And I'm surprised that it's in as good a shape as it's in. It's a 1979 Silver Line. And uh, it's been through heck and back. So anyway, I um, just wanted to update you. I've got this apart. And uh, I had just rewired this thing before I went to Florida with it. And ended up wrecking it. I was going to put a cigarette lighter plug up here at the front, as you can see. But I ran out of time and didn't get done with it. This is originally the uh, trolling motor power port thingy. Had fuses and, a, and an adapter and 
all that in it switch so I'm gonna redo that thing and I'm gonna have to re hang some wires because as you can tell I wasn't able to get to the wiring um, thing here to put the wires in like they were supposed to be so I just had them laying down the floor but while I've got it out I'm gonna redo all that and get my wiring uh, up out of the floor and put it like it's supposed to be and um, actually hang, hang a wiring part up on the boat uh, as far as the control cables, I may, I don't know if I'm going to try to raise those up or not. It's not going to really hurt anything for them to lay in the floor, but it does catch trash in the boat when they're laying in the floor. So uh, it'll make the boat a little easier to clean if I can strap them up some kind of way. You can, really can't do anything with this cable because it's a steering cable and it's got to have some slack in it. But the rest of those cables can, can be tied up. Uh, these are control cables coming from the motor power and uh, tr uh, trim and um, ignition, all that good stuff. So anyway, there's a little uh, update on it. And uh, sorry, I didn't get uh, to post the part where I was taking this thing apart. Uh, you know, like I said, my SD card was full, but uh, I get a little closer to being done with it. I will. I'm gonna do some more cutting and. Um, I'll cut some of the floor out and see what's going on with that. I may have to replace a few stringers, put some styrofoam under there, and then uh, recover it with some fiber or plywood and some fiberglass. And uh, we should be good to go. And I'll be back with you shortly. Well, as you can see, I've made a cut into the floor. And what I found is somebody at one point made uh, a half ass repair to this boat. And, uh, man, they didn't even seal the wood with uh, resin or anything. I mean, come on, people. <laughs> Look on YouTube. It's easy. But anyway, I'm going to have to do uh, a little more cutting out. Get back to where there's some uh, dry wood. Uh, cut the old crap out and put some resin on it and put it back in and uh, go from there so anyway it's a little five minute update 